everybody. Welcome to our third uh, improv show from the IT crowd. Um, I am your host this evening. My name is Alexis Amarante. I'll be going around introducing our uh, improvers for this week. First, we have Jeff Wolfthaw. This is weird! <laughs> Playing games instead of hosting for the first time. We've got <sighs> Kelly Carlson. Putting the fun and fundamentally so alone. Great. We've got Alex Stampoli. It was either doing this we or- We have Jared oh, Haverdick. I've had nothing but elk meat for the last two weeks. Two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row, and it's the same intro both times. I had to do it. Go ahead, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> we have Allison Petrillo. Let's go, quarantine. Oh, nice. <laughs> and we've got Joe Ben. Um, hello, everybody. My name is Joseph Penn. I was born in Omaha, Nebraska, but I am from New Jersey. Does that make sense? Yes. Your mic is so loud. It was also <laughs> long enough to be your intro and Alex's intro. <laughs> and he's frozen. That's good. Oh, oh bye, Joe. Oh. It was, that's it. Leave him there. Alex, Bam, tell us your intro. <laughs> oh, I was going to say it was either doing this improv with you all or starting an OnlyFans account. <laughs> Why okay, not both? Oh, oh. Yeah, you can do both at the same time. What is OnlyFans? Oh, sweet Fans summer Jeff. Is, uh, <laughs> basically, it's a, it's a be your own porn star. You don't have to be, but a majority of people are like, oh, I used to give my nudes away for free. Now I'm going to charge $9.99. Yeah, it's, like <laughs> it's like a wine subscription box, except the wine is your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Tough times, y'all. Tough times. <laughs> Um, so just a few little updates before we get started with the joke. Uh, we've decided that our followers and fans are called the IT department because we think that is funny. Oh. And uh, Jeff, what did you say about the uh, cadence of our, our theme this week? Oh, uh, so Adam Shepley makes all of our graphics and uh, we have a very springy thing. Uh, so I have dubbed the title of this show, Springtime for Improv. Technology. Ooh. What a voice. What a voice on that boy. Wow. I can only sing songs from Mel Brooks musicals. It's beautiful. <laughs> As you should. Um, so in running with our theme of some of us are wearing pants this week, uh, six of us are not wearing pants and only one person is. So um, that's, that's up to you to figure out who that is. You can guess when you Venmo us at the IT crowd, oh. uh -huh. send in your, uh, your guesses as to the one of us who is still wearing pants. If you are the first person to guess it correctly, we'll Venmo you back $1. <laughs> <laughs> We're dollar. Dollar. As the, as the uh, IT crowd's accountant, Maybe. We don't I, have that in the budget at I all. Have, I have two sets yeah. of books. It's fine. We just got an espresso <laughs> machine. Even off the top. <laughs> the whole thing is the... <laughs> it's just the producers. Uh, no, but in all seriousness, thank you all so much for tuning in every week. We appreciate it so much. Um, we really are just doing this to bring some light and laughter to you all and to ourselves. And oh, this yeah. really just weird, strange time. I almost cursed. I almost said the F word. <laughs> I was so close. We we'll can say other things like shit and hell and ass, but we can't say the F word. Not the F word. In hell and <sighs> But really, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you have the means or the want to donate to us so we can keep doing this, we would really appreciate it because we are um, artists who are struggling, as most people are. So Financially, uh, emotionally. <laughs> all any the kind of struggle general. that you can imagine. One of us going through it. Two days into this, that's when I shave my head, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've lost five pounds since the quarantine started. Jay, so. why are you go? That's highly unusual. No. Good job, Jeff. I, I, like I think I found Brittany. your I five pounds. <laughs> I screwed up the times for this. So as the host, I showed up to our meeting 10, eight minutes before we were supposed to start. So that's a big struggle. Okay. I'm not proud of it. <laughs> oh, Get it. Okay. Honestly. <laughs> you shouldn't I'm let me. I'm so happy with this decision. <laughs> all right. We're going to kick it off with an all play. We're going to play some 185. Uh, so for those of you watching at home, 185 is the world's most basic 
uh, joke format and these goons are going to fill it out. So I'm going to give them a prompt and they will say 185 blanks, walk into a bar. The bartender says, I can't serve 185 blanks. And then they give the reason why. So we're going to start it off with Real one, knee slapper. 185 bottles of shampoo. Whenever you're uh, ready. 185 bottles of shampoo walk into a bar. The bartender says, I can't serve you all. You're going to have to go. And they say, it's okay. We were conditioned for this. Nice. 185 uh, bottles of shampoo walk into a strip club. And the bartender says, I'm sorry, we can't accept 185 bottles of shampoo. And the shampoo goes, you know what? It looks like you don't need us. Everyone in here is already pretty pert. A <laughs> hundred, no, one uh, French shampoo bottle tries to walk into a bar. The bartender says, I'm sorry, we just cannot serve one French shampoo bottle. And they look at him with their beret and their cigarette and they say, Pourquoi? Do you not trust me? Trust, trust me. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, no, you go ahead. Uh, 185 uh, shampoo bottles walk into a bar and the bartender says, sorry, I, I, I cannot serve 185 uh, shampoo bottles. And the shampoo bottles go, what? Are we not suave enough? Oh, you. <laughs> oh, that was exact. Oh, well, I'm going to think of it on the top of my head. 185 very, very, very thirsty and wanting to drink alcohol bottles of shampoo walk into a bar. The bartender goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't serve 185 bottles of shampoo and the bartender says i mean the shampoo bottle say mm, don't worry about it guys no tears no tears oh i was gonna do that yes. mm. <laughs> well done. Really nice. uh, all right oh go ahead jeff last one all right uh 185 bottles of shampoo walk into a bar uh the bartender whose name incidentally is dan says get out of here you bottles of shampoo you're not allowed in here anymore and the bottles of shampoo go dan bra <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Alex hated it. Um, <laughs> I don't know her. <laughs> okay, let's go on to 185 penguins. Mm. Uh, 185 penguins walk into a bar. Bartender says, get out of here. I can't serve you. And they say, oh, we just wanted to stop by for happy feed hour. <laughs> 185 penguins walk into the bar. The bartender says, I'm sorry, I can't serve penguins here. And the penguins say, but we put on our tuxedos. Nice. Uh, 185 penguins walk into a bar. The bartender says, I'm sorry, I can't serve 185 penguins. The penguins don't say anything, but Morgan Freeman says, and so the penguins left dejected. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 185 penguins walk into a bar that they visited before, and they're surprised to see a new bartender. And the bartender says, sorry, I don't have the ability to serve 185 uh, penguins. You're going to have to leave. And the penguins scoff and go, huh, Elijah would. Uh, 185 penguins walk into a bar. The bartender says, welcome. If, you're gonna, uh, if, you're, if I'm going to serve you, I'm only going to serve you little samples of beer. And they say, well, sorry, we're flightless birds. 185 <laughs> penguins walk into a bar last month. And they're just trying to get served. But the bartender said, this place isn't for you. And they say, but th this month is for us. <laughs> of the penguins? March of the penguins. Oh, no. Oh, OK. Why do you never follow the uh, 185 <laughs> penguins walk into a bar. And the bartender says, I'm sorry, I cannot serve 185 penguins. And the penguins go, don't you know who we are? We're royalty. We're emperors. Nice. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last, last one. 185 sets of earbuds. Mm. Uh, 185 sets of earbuds uh, walk into a bar and the bartender says, uh, hey, I'm sorry, I don't have the room to serve 185 sets of earbuds. And one of them starts getting really lippy and, and talking back. And finally his friend goes, hey, 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 calm down. We don't want to get tangled up in something. Nice. 185 sets of earbuds walk in. Bartender says, I'm not going to serve you. You got to get out. And they say, all right, I guess we'll just beat it. Nice. <laughs> 185, I almost said 125. 185 earbuds walk into a bar. The bartender says, I'm sorry, I, I, can't, I can't serve earbuds. And they get really sad. And one of them says, but Samsung. Uh -huh. 185 sets of zombie earbuds walk into a bar. 
The bartender says, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't serve 185 sets of zombie earbuds. The earbuds get upset and say, you better let us in before we eat your skull candy. Mm. Uh, okay. So <laughs> there's, there's an earbud bar and it's the party's going. Mm. It's been going all night. It's around 2 a.m., but there's, they're still letting people in. There's no cover even. But then these two dogs show up and these dogs play basketball. And they say, can we come in? And they say, no, no airbuds allowed. But there's nothing All in right. the rules. We're wrapping it on that because I hate <laughs> Haley. <laughs> no airbuds allowed. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Uh, Allison Petrillo, Jordan Bell says, only 125 earbuds. You're on a budget. And we're on a budget. Times are tough. <laughs> I mean, if you're playing Haley's Rules, you can pick any number. You can pick where they're at. It's true. You don't even have to make this the joke anymore. It's like a Haley Carlson, Sam Lee staple. of just like going like, hey, watch this and dropping it all together. <laughs> no, if, if, if Sam Lee was in this show, the 185 Penguins would have turned into a joke about a mechanic in an ice cream cone. And it would have just went on for forever. Yeah. <laughs> if it works, it works. listening to his first joke right now. <laughs> hey, Sam, we hope you're watching it. <laughs> Special shout out. All right, let's move on to our next game. Uh, we are introducing a new game this week. It is called Press Conference. Uh, this game is for Allison, Haley, Joe, and Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Lee just commented and said, I will ruin this shit so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Someone block Sam Lee, don't let him on. <laughs> awesome. All right, press conference, how it is played. Uh, someone, one of our four players will be uh, hosting a press conference. They are someone of importance and they have done something significant, but they do not know who they are or what they have done. So I'm gonna ask whoever is hosting the press conference to mute their audio or take out their headphones and I will tell everyone else playing press conference uh, who they are and what they've done. We'll bring that person back in and everyone else playing will ask them questions, kind of leading them to guess uh, who they are and what they have done. And we'll just play a few rounds of that and see how it goes. So Haley, mute yourself and make sure Josh's is not loud enough that you can hear from the other. <laughs> I will wave when you're back in. I'm going to get rid of the people who are not in this game. Goodbye. Banished. We'll miss you. I will not miss. Damn. I feel like Joe. I'm at the end of Infinity War. Oh. Oh, well, yeah. Goodbye. Don't feel well, Alexis Amarante. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't, don't want to get muted. So, uh, Joe, Jared, and Allison, if you have a question for Haley, you raise her hand. raise your hand and she'll call on you. She is going to be Betty White, and she has invented the best way to fold a fitted sheet. Mm. Uh, and the Betty, uh, the Betty White suggestion came from a few people, and so did fitted sheets. A lot of people were very passionate uh, uh, in the prompts this week about folding fitted sheets. So the shout out goes to all of all you right. who are passionate about it. So all right. Betty White uh, folding a fitted sheet. Yeah, she yeah. found out the best way. So uh, wave to Haley and have fun. Uh, talk. Yes. Can you hear me? Wait. No. Wait. We, we can hear yes. You. Yes, we can. We can hear you. Yeah. Talking. <laughs> um. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Thanks so much for coming. Yes. Uh. Curly white lady. Yeah. Oh, hello there. Um. First of all, I would just love to say what a treasure you are and how amazing you look, even at your incredibly old age. Uh, I just want to know what corner do you start with? What? What? What corner? What corner? Corner, you know, like corner. What corner do I start with? I gotta yeah. say it, it depends on the day, whether you're feeling upper left, bottom left, always on the, always on the left though. Thanks for your no question. Left. Yes, hoodie, sir. Um, hi, uh, a big fan of you and your golden girls, um, but you are by far my favorite. Um, I just have a question. Mm -hmm. I understand that the, I, I've been studying techniques to do this on a bed 
for the longest time. And I just, um, uh, I just want to know H how oh. many times have you tried uh, doing that thing where you step on it and you stretch it across the bread before you, before you finish it all up. You know what I mean? Cause I, I used to do that. I used to do absolutely. that. I absolutely understand. And I got to say time and time again, but when you're a national treasure uh, like me, it really, uh, it just comes to you uh, eventually. We'll type our, a final question, please. Yes, yes, you, sir, with the, the stash. Yes, uh, I'm Jason Smith with hey, Jason. Uh, Hotel Maids Daily. Um, <laughs> I'm concerned, as are my constituents, about you revealing some of our secrets. Um, it seems that you're abusing uh, your status as an untouchable celebrity. Hmm. Uh, I just to say uh, that that me, Betty White, I'm trying to be pretty sacrosanct. I'm trying to huh. keep my secrets pretty close about how to fold a fitted sheet. Nice, I'm Haley. Not to give it away. Very nice. So speedy. All right. Good job. Let's let's move it right along here. Um, Jared, take out your headphones, please. Jared is Emma Watson. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> who has uh, saved the world from people who don't use their blinkers. Oh, also, uh, Brian Smith is the one who gave us Emma Watson. And again, lots of people pissed off about people who don't use their blinkers. So mm. he, yeah. saved, he saved the world from people that don't use their yeah, blinkers? Yeah, has completely ended people not using their blinkers. Wow. Got it. All right, wave to Jared. Have a good time. <clears throat> uh, yes. Uh, yes, uh, I'd like to welcome you all. Thank you for coming to this briefing. Um, I'll take my first question. Uh, yes, fellow there. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Leandis. Um, I am a fan of all of the, uh, uh, the, 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 the wizard stuff that you did. Um, I really liked it better than the, va the glittery vampires. But uh, I just, I just have a, I just have a ask. Um, um, now that nobody's, uh, you know, doing that thing in their cars um and we're all and traffic has improved thusly um i, I want to know how 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 often do you think we're gonna make it home before uh the seven o'clock prime time hour on television uh well thank you for your kind comments about my work um i think uh you know uh, getting home uh is going to be easier than it's ever been so rest rest assured uh yes you there man Hi, this is uh, Laura from uh, Potions Weekly, and I just had I just had some gripes. First of all, and I'm sure you completely understand uh, that your dress was just the complete wrong color in the movie, and they did you injustice with your teeth as well. I mean, just just making you hot when you weren't written so hot. Um, I just want to ask for your great deed that you've done. Does it work going both left and right? Have you eradicated both of those occurrences? Uh, yes. Uh, well, although I didn't mind being hot, uh, I will say uh, we've we've gotten rid of left. We're still working on oh. right. Yeah. I mean, progress moves a step at a time. You know how it is. I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, hello there. Uh, Jessica Darling with um, Wingardium Levy. Oh, that's news. Uh, I just, I want to say I'm a big fan of your work, yes, um, and I, I don't know how you did it, you know, people are just adamant about not turning these on, you must have had a lot of frustrated people on your hands, how did you handle all that? Uh, right, well, thank you, love the UK press, naturally, uh, yes. and it's, you know, it's easy, uh, people uh, hate, people, I, I found people hate using them in the first place. So really, all they needed was a slight push. Um, mm. I think I have time for one more question. <laughs> uh, yes, ma'am. Um, I just <laughs> shouldn't have raised my hand. <laughs> well? <laughs> I just want to know how, before you put this into effect, um, using your magic, how were other people supposed to know where others intended to go or turn, perchance? Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was more of a feeling. It was more of a feeling. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, and, uh, and I, as Ian McKellen... Mm -hmm. I loved your, your dress and 
That doesn't really go with that. Uh, uh, I love your cat. <laughs> mm, right, right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, ma'am. Uh, Jessica. Was, Jessica. Was it? Right. Yes. Oh, say, it's still Jessica, well, of course. Yes, of course. Uh, I am a big fan of yours, of course. I, I didn't say it earlier, but I, the hair. I mean, we do have very similar curls, so I, I really appreciate that we have that in common. And did you make the clicking noise less irritating? Like, did you give it a funky beat, and that's what made people want to use it more? Right, right. We actually did implement a small theme song to get people to use their turn signals more often. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, I did that with my magic because I am Professor McGonagall. So, so close. <laughs> ah, right. Uh, sir, yes. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. When, uh, when Lindsay Lohan was on Saturday Night Live and she played you, I mean, I, I thought it was the hottest I, I was just imagining if you control, sir. Oh, okay, okay. Let me just calm. Let me just calm down. I'm yeah. hot with you. As as Hermione Granger, I'm not going to stand for there such. It is. There it is. Right. <laughs> People need to use their turn signals because it's simply the right thing to do. Yeah. Nice, Jared. <laughs> just a broad guess of any British actor. <laughs> a a yeah, British magic Calvin? person. That's really all that I knew. It was good. It was good. All right, let's keep it going. Joe, mute your audio. Got it. Bye, Joe. Finally. All right, this is a fun one. Joe is Tom Hanks, who is trying to start a Ren fair in space. <laughs> <laughs> Wave to Joe. Have a good time. Uh, uh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, yeah, can you hear me? Can I? Yep. All right. Um, well, I'm prepared. So, if anybody's got any questions, let's hear them. Uh, yes, lady in the pink with the hair. Hi. Thanks so much for picking me. I just have to say, I love your work. So sorry to hear about your condition, but I, I hope you and your wife are, are doing better. Um, as you start this new outward adventure, I just have a question. Will your son be coming? Will son be coming with oh. you? Will... Will my son or will Wilson be coming with me? Well, it's a pun about. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm so surprised. Uh, uh, yes, I believe that my son will be coming with me. And thank you for those wishes towards me and my wife. Um, we are working through this time. You know what I mean? Um, thank you. Uh, any, other, any other questions from the audience? Uh, yes, dude with the headphones. Uh, yes, uh, this is the dude with the headphones.net blog. Um, so, uh, first of all, I just want to say I'm a big fan of your work um, and uh, you're, you're a national treasure. Never heard a bad thing about you. Uh, but my question about the matter at hand is uh, don't you think there's kind of a disconnect for what people usually go to this for as opposed to? Uh, where you're having it. It seems kind of like old meets modern a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. Well, um, a lot of things are old meets modern. Um, uh, let's say that you go to a Ren fair and they have like a time traveler's weekend or some dumb shit like that. You know, they're bringing old and modern <laughs> together all at once. Hmm, that sounds um, like a terrible idea. It, it does, but people like it. So, you know, okay. um, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Um, I think that after a while, people will really understand this thing. And also, a national treasure, I'm very humble. I'm, I, I got a lot of friends in the industry that I do that are conserved national treasures. So, you know, I'm just another guy out here doing another guy things. You know? mm -hmm. uh, yes, curly-headed lady over there. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Mary Maryson. I don't have a newspaper yet. I'm just here. Uh, I... First of all, you seem very sweaty, sir. Did you did you run here? I, I know that you're a big fan of running, and sometimes people yell things at you like "run, run." You know, I, I just are you. Why are you so sweaty? What's going on? Sweaty. Well, uh, now I'm very confused, but it's not because of you. It's just because of what I'm thinking about. Um, hmm. uh, well, when people yell "run" at me, I just really want to run a little bit. So you know. I like in the miles, baby. And even if people are yelling, it's all right. Thank you. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, uh, other lady with the thing around her arm. Thank you so much. Scrunchy girl 99969 here. Um, now, when you cast away on this new outward venture into new heights, one question, will there be a boar swing? That's what all the blogs are talking about. Will it be made of stars? Mm. That's all we want to know here at Scrunchy Girl 60. Well, you know, uh, after this whole entire thing is up with me and my wife, um, uh, as Tom Hanks, I'm going to be starting a different, a, a whole different situation at these, uh, I guess, Ren fairs or something like that. Uh, I, I, I believe that um, a space themed Ren fair is like, yeah. is like a, a great idea. And I believe I'm the person that could bring it to life. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Great job. Yo, yeah. you all did so good. <laughs> hey, rock and roll, baby. Okay. I thought it was Idris Elba, and then I thought it was Will Smith because she said Will's son, and I thought, oh, am I uh, kidding? So in the That's comments, you thought I'd pick a black it. person? Yes, because I'm black, <laughs> and I thought, all right. What does Isla Nubar have to do with any of this? That's James Bond. Uh, Jared said, you're a national treasure. I put in the comments and went, how much do you want to bet Joe Penn thinks it's Nick Cage now? I was gonna, oh, for, my, for a second, I, for a second I thought it was Nick Cage. And then I was like, impossible. <laughs> impossible. Jeff, are you in the dark? I, so uh, on the east, the sun right has time. gone down uh, slowly. And I am it's using uh, my wife's ring light uh to to oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah fantastic <laughs> well great job with that game everyone people watching at home if you like that one you want to see it again let us know in the comments and alex will let us know because we don't we, get those yeah. uh, they are difficult. a lot of people have like really responded well to that game uh the from uh, elizabeth burkholder at elizabeth burkholder news said that game was thoroughly enjoyable <laughs> really enjoyable. I like it. Well, let's move it right along with another new-ish game. Sorry, Alex, you got another comment? Is it Venmo, Venmo donation that was a lovely amount. Uh, thank you to who donated, but they went, is Allison wearing pants? <laughs> <laughs> time will tell. Not the first time someone has donated money with the exact same question. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? what does that mean? In another episode of my dad being upset, I'm doing slightly lewd things on the internet. He said, you better be wearing pants. <laughs> Last week he said, I wasn't allowed to play like my men. This week he said, you better be the one wearing pants. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Venmo and guess, Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a new insult. Like if someone pisses you off in like the street, Venmo and guess, Rusty. <laughs> Rusty. Got his ass. All right, moving right along. Uh, last week, you guys really enjoyed our, uh, what was that, chat roulette game? Chat um, roulette. So we're playing a very similar game. It's called Let's Make a Date. Mm. Uh, uh, so it is some internet chat roulette-esque type dating, except our, our guesser or our host for this game, who will be Alex Dompoli, um, he will be asking our guests questions, and at the end, he's going he's gonna to pick someone to go on a date with. So our people playing this game are Jared, Jeff, and Allison. So goodbye, Woo! Joe and Haley. Later. Let me do this. Turn off the videos. Snap All one right. more time. There it is. And I did it. It took a second. You're strong. You're fighting it. I'm, yeah, yeah. This is my first time hosting, and I'm not good at technology. Okay, you're perfectly really balanced. Long. So. All right. So Alex, mute your audio, please. Um, okay. So it's the same sort of concept as let's make a date. Um, Alex will call on people. Actually, let's wave at Alex real quick. I want him to come back. Alex. Alex. The only way to get his attention is to comment on the Facebook stream. Damn it. Someone tell Alex to look up. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, am I back? No, I wanted to say something. I'm going to turn off everyone's videos and you can say contestant number one, two, or three. Oh, okay, great. So I wanted you to know that that Jared is going to be one, Jeff is going to be two, and Allison is going to be three. All right, I'm going to write that down because I'll get confused. So will I, and I lost my pen somewhere where I'm sitting. So It's man, man, lady. Great. Jared, so Jeff. <laughs> okay, 
Now you can go away and I don't want to hear from you. <clears throat> Great. Uh, Jared, you, <laughs> at, the, at Hannah Storch's uh, prompt of she found adoption papers in her parents' closet, you will suspect that Alex is your real dad. <laughs> uh, uh, anything else? Nope, that's it. Great. <laughs> Great. Really thinking that he's your real dad and you're trying but to- But he's romantically interested in me. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jeff at uh, Amber Buckingham gave us the prompt of Johnny Depp. You will be uh, Johnny Depp, uh, but doing shitty magic. Oh, right. What character am I supposed to play, though, Alexis? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, Jeff will have fun with this one. He's already good at shitty magic. Um, and then Allison. Mm -hmm. uh, Leanne Hamlin, my little baby lamb, gave us the prompt of Paris Hilton. Oh, my God. Uh, so you beat Paris Hilton. Um, and uh, at the prompt of Tori Eckert, uh, one of her pet peeves is people trying to one-up each other. So you're going to be Paris Hilton trying to one-up the other contestants. Oh, um, God. Okay. So just kind of doing what they're doing, but trying to do it better. So wave at Alex, have a good time. And then I will turn off all of your videos once he comes back. All right, I'm back. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna turn everyone off and you can. That's my job, I'm supposed to turn everyone off. You're great at it. I'm still here. Yeah, I know, I kept it going just to see when you would stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take it off, Alex. Oh, all right. Well, this is exciting. Couldn't find love in real life. Let's see if I can find it on the internet. Move out of the way, grinder. It's time for improv technology. Okay. Um, all right. Well, let's um look up a I don't know, what do I call them like potential life mate number one? Oh hello. Hi. Hello, potential life mate number one. Um, I find these things work if we ask some questions, get to know each other. So I love long walks on the beach and even longer waits at the DMV. What's something you like to do in your spare time? Uh, well, I'd just like to say, I'm, I, it's so good to see you. Uh, oh, I, I love spending time with my loved ones. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, really, uh, it's hard to get to know yourself unless you know where you're from. So. What? Families are, uh, I, I really like, you know, looking through the scrapbooks, comparing pictures, you know, hospital records, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, <laughs> interesting. So on a real strong level there. So like, yeah. Yeah. Quality time. That's my love language. Oh, well, that's very nice. I like quality time and uh, giving hugs. I'm a big, I'm a physical oh, person. Oh, that would be great. I would love that. Wow really looking into my soul there contestant uh -huh. all right well perfect thank you um i'm gonna go to uh contestant our potential life mate number two here i love plenty of fish oh oh <laughs> thank god it's not amber hello there oh god <laughs> uh, i'm sorry i know i'm the last person you would expect in a thing like this um, well, uh, yes, um, so uh, potential life mate number two. Um, my favorite color is blue because it can be found in, in so many things. Uh, what is your favorite color and why do you like it? Well, you know, uh, for a while, brown just made me full of fear and loathing. But I think I can say <laughs> that my favorite color is the one in your eyes. Would you like this ring? <laughs> <laughs> um, no. like All right, fine. <laughs> I've never had someone be so forward as to pretend blow me over the internet before. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. How do you think I got Keith Richards' approval? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to talk to you more in a minute, but I have one more person I need to meet. I'll be right back. <laughs> Potential life mate number three. I'm going to have to... Oh. Oh, my God. Hey, what's up? 
Uh, uh, how are you? Mm, I'm like so good. You know, I've been spending a lot of quality time with a lot of people. I'm nobody's better at quality time than me. Oh my god. Oh, okay. So you like you also you wait, hold on. You also like spending quality time with people? Mm, mm -hmm. Were you so to, good at it. Were you able to hear what I was talking about with someone else? What? No. I just like quality time and the color blue. <laughs> like a lot. I think blue is like so hot. Well, okay then. We have a we have a lot in common right out of the gate. Um, well, I'll, I'll ask you your your own question. Um, I um love doing things I'm passionate about. I love helping mm. at, at local charities. What is something that you're passionate about? Um, I really like to promote my brand. Uh, okay. You know, I've been on a couple reality shows. Uh, one, I was like on a farm and like did some gross stuff with cows, but it was a good time. Well, I, I once did some gross stuff with a cow as well, but we're no oh, longer no. together, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, thank you. You're 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 just you're you're so hot. You're mm, so thank hot. you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'll be I'll be right back here. Mm, okay. Kisses, boo. Mwah. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> contestant number one, or potential life mate number one here. Check back in with them. Oh, it's so good to see you again. <laughs> it's very nice to see you as well. Um. So let's see. Um. One of my uh, favorite places to go is the beach. I think there's a lot uh, to do there. What is your favorite place to go? Oh, I, you know, uh, the past, probably. Uh, <laughs> I just have so many questions. You know? um, and it's really less about where you go as, as who you're going with. Um, I, 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 I drew this picture of us and uh, uh, I've I've kept it for a long time, and I, I I'm just excited that we're finally meeting. So I guess I would want to go uh, probably t 25 years ago. I, I have some questions. <laughs> probably not nearly as many as I do right now. Um, Great. <laughs> all right. So yeah, 25 years ago. Um, okay. Did you have a good time around then? <laughs> In Ohio? How, how, uh, can I see the picture one more time? Yeah. Which one am I? The tall one holding my hand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, I, I, I'm going to tell you something that might hurt you a little bit. Oh, boy. I, I can't be your father. Are you sure? Positive. Have, have have you tried a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not that I don't um I oh gosh wanting we to have say the same you, hair. Well I oh, you're very funny. Um no I this is one instance where I'm gonna say that you can't call me daddy. Uh didn't I you I've not I've never had a son. Oh no that's that's fine. Um uh, that, uh, okay. No, yeah, I, I, I've got other people that can be my dad. All right. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to go find a life mate. Good luck, buddy. I hope you find your dad. B bye, dad. Nope, not dad. Not dad. Okay. Uh, contestant number two. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> go ahead. Pick a card. Uh It was the three of clubs. Now. <laughs> Jesus. Um, how about we just skip all the small talk, go right back to your place so I can give you a black pearl necklace all over your dead man's chest and then we <laughs> take things to the world's end. <laughs> this is the strangest tide I've ever found myself on. <laughs> but... Though you sit there in the dark shadows, I don't think my life mate is going to be Johnny Depp, who is kind of good at sleight of hand magic. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> but I, I, 
I hope things work out for you, and I, I hope Amber finally leaves you alone. Me too. All right. Okay. I, <laughs> I hate number three here. Pull them back up. Oh, hey. Missed you, boo-boo. I, I, I missed you as well, and I didn't think I was going to say that. Mm. Mm. I think... Um, I think I'm going to choose you. Would you like to go on a date? I think I'd really love a, a simple life with, with oh. Paris Hilton, who is trying to one-up all my other contestants. Ooh. Yeah, baby, let's go. <laughs> all right. As That's hot. Alex, well done. Well done. Oh, you guys are so good. It's cool. Oh. When I say that I have been crying through this whole thing, <laughs> I feel bad because the the audio has jumped to me multiple times and I've seen it and it's just me laying back in my bed crying and drinking wine. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes. boy. Why should this night be different than any other Saturday okay. night? <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> Damn. I can't wait to talk about it. The best part is that when Jeff, because it's so dark behind him, comes back, he just comes it, out of the shit. Yeah, so it, funny. It, it, he cards. emerges. Oh, shit. That was Oh, oh man, that was good. Oh boy. Okay, to see more shit like that and to fuel my alcoholism, then my less at the. <laughs> I'm so I'm making... subtle. Really? Is it a V? Someone else has to do the E, and then. Oh. And then. Uh, so... Also, and... shout out to Katie Birch, who said she's gonna rewatch this over and over simply for Jeff's magic. <laughs> <laughs> Just the, like, it was the three of clubs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the oh, my God. This is the best response I've ever gotten for any of my magic tricks. So I thank you. Man. I was thinking, this is, this is probably the best audience you'll have, Jeff. I think the <laughs> girl necklace is black. You need to see a doctor. Um, yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a problem. You could keep it, keep it together for that joke, and neither could anyone else. Oh, oh, man, man, that was funny. tried so hard. <laughs> Uh, this was supposed to be a serious break for me to say thank you again to everyone following along at home. Um, if you would like to donate to us and you think that we're funny, uh, at the IT crowd on Venmo, um, we seriously appreciate it. We appreciate all of you guys tuning in every week. We have a blast doing this. We hope you have a blast watching. Let's keep it going with the laughs. Uh, up next is a game called Trap Keep, another new game. <clears throat> Uh, this game is for Joe, Alex, Haley. Uh, Jeff will be our shopkeeper. So the way this game is played is uh, Jeff, again, will take off his headphones so he doesn't know what the hell is happening. Almost said the F word again. Uh, <laughs> the lower this gets, the more likely I'll say it. Me! Um, <laughs> so uh, Joe, Alex, and Haley, one at a time, are going to go into Jeff's online uh, store, and they are going to need something very specific from the shopkeep. Um, and they're going to have to try to get him to guess and say exactly what it is they need without saying it directly. <clears throat> so I'm going to get rid of the people who are not playing this game. Goodbye, Allison. Goodbye, Jay. Goodbye. Bye. Ooh. All right. Here we go. All right, Jeff, you can't hear us at all? No. All right. Checking so out. Uh, first person into the store is going to be uh, Joe. Joe, you are looking for an Amazon Alexa, uh, but the voice on the Alexa is the Hulk. <laughs> um, uh, this was at the prompt of Jeremy Grafe. Grafe? Grafe? Jonathan uh, Grafe? It is, nope. <laughs> Jeremy Grafe. Grafe? Grafe? Mm -hmm. Sorry. G -R -A -E -F -F. What? G-R-A-E-F-F? -F. Yeah. I'm not sure either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Joe, your Amazon uh, Alexa is powered by celebrity toenails. Uh, but it's not a regular color. It is see-through. It is a clear wow. Amazon Alexa. So, Joe, you're going to be the first into the store. Um, also, write these down, or I guess you can chat me, and I'll just tell you what they are. <laughs> I won't okay. have it. Uh, Haley, you are looking uh, at the prompt of Jess Reeser. Thank you for this one. Uh, you are looking for a pogo stick, um, but it is not made of normal pogo stick metal and springs. It is made of belly button lint. A lot of people said belly button lint, and I'm concerned for our IT department, but it's fine. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, Amanda Scott said it is not from this era. It is from the American Revolution. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't make a boing or squeaky noise when you bounce. Every time you bounce, it makes Darth Vader's theme song. <laughs> he and dan came up with that one this morning (laughs) all right and then alex you are looking for a remote control like for tv uh heather rothwell said uh that it used to be owned by oprah uh at the request of a lot of people it is currently owned by ellen okay (laughs) and uh it controls uh at the request of helen Parable, Parable, <laughs> Helen H. Um, <laughs> it Helen control- what? Helen Hunt. All right. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> uh, it controls uh, the uh, your KitchenAid mixer. Okay. So everyone have their props. Yeah, uh, I am going in first, and I am asking for an Amazon Alexa. That doesn't sound like Alexa. It sounds like the Incredible Hulk, and it's not powered by electricity. It's powered by celebrity toenails, and it's see-through. I'm, I'm looking for a pogo stick that's made of belly button lint. Uh, it was made in the American Revolution, but it doesn't go boing, boing. It goes da 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 Thank you. And I'm going in last. I'm looking for a remote control for my TV that was originally owned by Oprah. It is currently owned by Ellen. And it doesn't actually power my TV. It powers my KitchenAid mixer. That's right. Have fun. I'll try and get Jeff's attention. You haven't been doing that for years. I know. (laughs) (laughs) Christ. (laughs) You didn't hear the good burn right before you came on, so I'm going to go. Okay, oh. second. Wait, um, people want Jared Haverdink to ship post in the comments while he's off. That's Katie Birch's request. I'm on it. Get to shit posting, Jared. <laughs> uh, don't have to ask me twice, baby. Do what you're best at. I was born for this. All right. Um, I'm gonna bring people into your store there, Jeff. Have a good time. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <sighs> Another day in customer service. At least I haven't been furloughed yet. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. Oh, yo. hey there. Uh, welcome to the digital storefront of Harvey's Stuff, Stuff, and More Stuff, where we have everything. Oh, you got everything. Everything. I've been to like seven places. I'm not supposed to be out, but I've been looking for shit all day. You know what I mean? Well, you have come to the right digital place. What can I get for you, my friend? All right, well, I'm looking for... um. I'm looking for one of those um, those things that, y- you know, you talk to in the morning and it tells you what the weather is like. You know what I mean? Is oh, it... yeah. No, I have an OK Google right here. No, 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 no. That's the wrong one. I, I, I got a very uh, specific one. You know what I mean? It's the oh, one. Like old school? You want a Cortana? No, yeah. no, no. Not that old. It's it's oh. still rele- it's relevant. It's still a relevant <laughs> one. Not Cortana. You know what I mean? Uh, still relevant. Oh, I know yeah. exactly what you need. You need an Alexa. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. But that, it's not, it's not any regular Alexa. In oh, fact, we got the dot. We got the view. No, 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 no. It, does, it doesn't matter. View. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the the. Pro, it doesn't matter which one you give me. It's just got to be very. It's got to be very specific. You know what I mean? Uh, it's it's got to have a voice. It's got to have this voice. Um, All Alexas have voices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one's. It's got to be a. You know what I mean? A monster with hands that punch. You know oh, what you I mean? want to. Butch Alexa, all right. Uh, no, no, well, well, it is. It, you Whatever could you're into, it, man. It's no, 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 but it, it's it's a specific kind of uh, character. You know, he fought a guy with a hammer, and then they became best friends. You know what I'm saying? And I and I just want that kind of feeling in my house. The, a guy that talks in like little sentences, not full ones, mm-hmm. and just talks to me all day. I kind of want that. You got Great. it? Yeah. No, I have. Uh, and Alexa right here for you. Uh, well, not literally here. It's in a warehouse, but yeah. uh, it has the voice of Captain Caveman. Oh, no, 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 no. Wrong franchise. We're talking about the most famous franchise. The one that, uh, you know, the Disney boys picked up. Uh, and and this guy, this guy changes colors once he, once he pops up. You know, once he gets his, me, yeah, yeah, punch, punch. My pants are torn. My shirt is off. <laughs> But my pants I, I'm I'm so sorry. I we do we have just three left. The Incredible huh? Hulk Alexas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But 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 
it looks like I, I don't want this one to be powered by electricity. You know what I mean? It's got to be oh. powered by a very specific thing. Yeah, okay? no, we're all about sustainable energy here. Yeah, yeah, and this one is sustainable as long as these people are alive. You know, the people that live up in Hollywood Hills, you know what I mean? I know that there's guys out there sneaking into people's beds at night, going to their lower extremities and taking the thing and clipping them off. Now, I need those. You know, I've world. never thought about it, but I guess Weezer could power the Hulk election. No, no, no. Well, Weezer is one of them. I'm talking about a whole entire gang of people who are uh, assumed to be higher status because we look up to them because of movies, music, and all that kind of stuff. But really, some of them are dumbasses. You know what I mean? But it's, 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 that's not what we're talking about. I need something specific from all of them. And it comes from, you know, the lower half. You know, people like these picks. You know what I mean? But I just need the, I just need the tips of them. I just need the, 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 um, that hard stuff on the edge of them. You know what I mean? I, I may be reading too much into this, but mm. are you looking for our limited edition Hulk Alexa powered by celebrity dick pics? Uh, well, uh, ooh, ooh, you took it. You took it too far. Uh, and that's and that's crazy. You I'm got the first so part. Sorry. You, you, you got the first part right. I, I'm looking for uh, uh, you know, you need clippers for these. You know what I mean? You gotta. They get a little bit too long. You take them down. You know. I, what mean, I mean, if they're Jewish, it still applies. Uh, okay, okay, but some of them. Then no. Okay, listen. No, you you you, you let these things grow, and then you you take them out and you you vacuum them off your floor. Or, oh, or, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, right here. I'll, I'll pull it up in, in our POS system. You need uh, the Incredible Hulk voiced Alexa that's powered by the hair of celebrities. No, 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 no. Another thing that you clip. Come on. Yeah, come on, man. You, you know, on the lower part of your body. In fact, at the absolute bottom of your body. And it's on two different things. You know what I mean? Oh, you gotta... oh you're right. I'm sorry. Wrong, wrong Hulk thing. Uh, Hulk Alexa powered by celebrity toenail clippers. Yeah, 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 there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. But but listen, all of that's honky dory. But this Alexa, I gotta be able to see everything going in on inside of it. You know what I mean? It's oh, gotta be. You're a, you're a technological voyeur. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know what kind of person. You know what kind of you're person. You sure we don't want to go back to the celebrity picks for the power? No, 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 no. I just want to see what's going on inside of my little device. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, you need the see-through model. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you say? Can you tell me all that back before I send you some stuff? Oh yeah, no, I'll get it pulled up right here in the digital uh, in your cart. Uh, mm -hmm. It is the uh, Incredible Hulk voiced Alexa, mm -hmm. powered by celebrity toenail clippings mm -hmm. that is completely see-through. Oh hell yeah, man! I've been looking for this all day. Hey, hey, hey! I'm a, I'm gonna throw in. It doesn't matter how much it costs. I'm sending you twenty thousand dollars. Excellent. How would you like to sign up for our store credit card while you're at it? No, I'm sending you twenty thousand dollars. Shut up. Just, just send me my. Shut up. All right, All right. it's it's in the mail. It's All right, mail. thank you. All right, later. I'll see you. Thank later. Thank you for stopping by. Nice job. Jared is shit posting all of us in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing what I was asked to do. Hey there. Hi. Oh, hi. Uh, welcome. I don't have uh, time for the pleasantries. I need something and I need it now. I want to go up and I want to go back down. Not too high, not too low. All by the power of me and my gams. All right, baby? Oh, and what uh, exceptional gams I assume you have, even though I can only see uh, this much of you. Um, sorry, made it weird. Uh, we have plenty of trampolines in stock. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to feel the force of myself and the power between my knees. Oh, I mean, we got some, like, uh, those pump-up sneakers from the early 90s. Between my knees, sir, in my grip, bouncing, not too high. Oh, yeah, no, right here, pogo stick. Yeah, Thank no, we'll get that shipped out right away. I'm so sorry. This is aluminum and such and rubber. No, 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 yeah, no. The best materials for pogo sticks. I'm looking for something a little softer, a little more organic a little more something from me mm? uh softer more organic in the pogo stick between your knees uh, yes not organic but i want to feel the remnants of something i might have worn or, or or a bit of bath dirt hidden away in a corner oh yeah i mean we have something made entirely out of dead skin cells I, well, I don't want just dead skin cells. I want anything that's in that little cave. 
<laughs> oh no. <laughs> now when you say little K, I'm uh, going to assume that you want it uh, made entirely out of shower lint. Mm. A tiny, tiny cave, sir. Right I in the didn't, middle. I didn't want to judge about your shower. It, you could live in a large city. I can't tell. That's nice of you to consider me so urban, but it's, I want it to be a memory of the past stored in me. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want to pick in there and I want to find what happened last week. <laughs> <We're> keep... <laughs> I have a pogo stick right here made entirely out of, God, I hope this is right, belly button lint. It is ready to go. Was oh, that thank so God. Hard. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm sorry. Wait, no. This looks new. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't want used belly button lint. Oh, I do. And I want it from the most shameful period of history for America. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, we have... Wait, no, I thought of the wrong one. That's not shameful. That was good for us. Never mind. To be blood soaked, but righteously show. Righteously blood soaked. I have, if you're from the north, I have uh, this pogo stick of belly button lint straight up from the Civil War. It's a little old and dank. <laughs> no, that's the shameful part. This was, we were like, we were like, don't do that. And then they were like, okay. <laughs> You're describing most of American history there. Uh, oh, yeah. Don't, don't push those poor Native Americans off their lands. Oh, well, we did it anyway. Well, more like, more think like earlier, like, like the first one. The fir oh, I mean, we have the belly button lint from the, the founding of North America, like Plymouth Rock, Jamestown. I want fighting and I want blood, blood and I want a king's head. <laughs> Oh, Revolutionary War Thank belly button lint pogo yeah. stick. Okay, all right. Um, could, sorry, could you demonstrate what sound this one makes? Oh, yeah, it goes like, doing, doing, doing. No, 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 no. Now, when I hear it's this a sound. a well-greased spring despite the very old lint. Okay, I want it greasy, but in an evil way. When I hear this, I want to think of a powerful daddy. <laughs> Scared, oh, but in a hot way. Yeah, okay. Uh, we have one that uh, every time it bounces, it sounds like Darth Vader's respirator. Uh, more musical, like, mm, mm, mm. Darth Vader, James Earl Jones didn't really sing much, uh, but we have one that sounds like it was made by uh, Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> Very evil, powerful <laughs> daddy. <laughs> 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 Like, it, it, it plays a song, like an orchestral sort of theme. I mean, uh, oh yeah, no, we have, a, we have a pogo stick right here made out of belly button lint from the Revolutionary War that plays Beethoven's Fifth. Doink, 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 doink. You got the first few notes right, buddy. Doink, 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 <laughs> da, doink, doink. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Oh, good. Right. Good job. I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm bringing myself back to saying you but don't. I know what I'm doing. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, hi there. Uh, no, welcome to Harvey's stuff. Brief. I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> Brent, what can uh, I help you with? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be so curt. Um, I'm looking for something that'll make uh, using my, uh, my television much easier. I'm so tired of getting up and having to do things manually. I'm so sorry. I just sold our last Alexa. <laughs> No, no, the, the the original before the kids got too modern. It's just long and black and makes life easier. Oh. 
We've <laughs> got a lot of know. requests tonight. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, no. We have like an old 1950s clicker if you want it. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I'm not, well, I mean, one of the kids, after we stop calling them clickers, what they call them, you know. Oh, it, oh we have remote controls. Perfect. Thank you. Um, uh, but this, this particular one that um, I'm looking for, its original owner was is just amazing. Has really got me through some of my dark times. I loved all 20 years of her show. Um, I got my first remote because she told me it was under my seat. Oh, yeah. No, uh, actually, we just got a shipment of uh, remote controls from OWN uh, that were used by Oprah. Oh, she just perfect losing them and finding them under seat cushions. Uh, it's kind of amazing. Well, and, and, and but this one, it was originally owned by her, but the current owner is another wonderful woman. I have adored her talk show almost like 20 years of it. Oh I mean, yeah, Ellen her... got all of Oprah's hand-me-downs. Oh, thank God. Oh, you have it, thank that God. Was right? <laughs> Yes, yes, you were. Yes, you were very right. But I've misled you a little bit. Oh. This remote doesn't power, doesn't work on a TV. It works on an appliance I use in another part of the house. Yeah, uh, I mean, we have a whole lot of toaster remote controls if you need it. Oh, well, same room, but different appliance. This one I, I, can, I can mix, I can mash. Uh, with, a, with the right attachments, I can make my own pasta. Oh yeah, uh, we we have a KitchenAid remote uh, yeah. right here oh, for you. Thank uh, God. Originally owned by Oprah, uh, was just in the hands of Ellen DeGeneres. Yes. Uh, but Portia already had one, and so she just they they sold it used. I got it. It's gonna be yours. Oh, thank you. It's been so hard to find this and toilet paper during this our hour of need. Can you take I, a check? Uh, absolutely. Uh, just uh, write it out to cash. Perfect, thank you very much. Oh, You're welcome. So right, Jeff, killing it. Good job. All right, y'all, that was I'm another free. new game. Um, oh, I forgot to ask him. Let me in. <laughs> Let me in. Don't do it. I forgot. <laughs> yes. I'm just kidding, it was not that full when we started. Mm -hmm. um, great job, a lot of new games tonight. Uh, thank you everyone again for tuning in. I know we are two minutes over our normal time. We will send you out with uh, one little short round of I Like My Men, but uh, please round of applause at home for our two guests this week, Jared Haverdink and Allison Petrillo. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. So much. Hopefully we'll have you back again. Yeah. Uh, next week, don't forget to tune in. We will have two new guest stars. Um, some more laughs, some more new games, some old games. If you guys liked any of the ones that you've seen tonight, let us know in the comments. Let us know your faves that you see us play. And one last time, a plug for the good old Venmo, Alex. <clears throat> there she is. There she is. Yeah. Uh, so we'll play one more, one little round of I Like My Men just as an all play, and then we'll let you know which one of us is in fact wearing pants. Uh, so get your last guesses in as we go through this, and we're gonna kick it off with I like my men, women, partner, uh, like I like my Wi-Fi. Hmm. I uh, like my men, like I like my Wi-Fi, very unreliable for Jeff in particular. <laughs> uh, I like my men, like I like my Wi-Fi, ideally available and strong in all rooms of the house. Uh, I like my partners like I like my Wi-Fi free in a public place. <laughs> I like my men like I like my Wi-Fi. Uh, his price goes up every month, but i just going to pay it because it's a necessity. Uh, I like my men like I like my Wi-Fi. Uh, it's mine, but if my friends are over and they ask to use it, I let them with no problem. <laughs> I like my men like I like my Wi-Fi. If they're messing up, all I gotta do is unplug them and start them over again. <laughs> I like my men like I like my Wi-Fi uh, with a very easy to remember password. Uh, I like my Shout men like Evan. I like my Wi-Fi. Uh, ideally, infinite users. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? I can switch up the what we're working on. Well, Something more. new. Switch okay. it! All right, all right, all right. Did I write it down? Yeah, this will be fun. I like my men like I like my quarantines. <laughs> Alex? <laughs> I like my men like I like my quarantines, six feet apart from me. 
<laughs> I like my man like I like my quarantines, screwing me unexpectedly with devastating force. <laughs> I like my men like I like my quarantines, sterile and wearing a mask. I'm going to applause for Evan Hoffman, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to marry in May. Be soon to be Allison Hoffman. Seriously. (laughs) Oh, I like my women like I like my quarantines shared with my wife. Oh. Oh. Shout out to Jules. Shout out to Jules. Everybody, like we all went like, oh, like that's so sweet. That was just a threesome. Like it's not like, he <laughs> uh, like I like I like my men like I like my quarantines provided by the government. <laughs> oh no! Don't add on that. <laughs> I didn't so like it. All right. One last one. I like my men like I like my floss, my dental floss. I like my men like I like my floss in my mouth making my gums bleed. <laughs> <laughs> I did not yeah. see that coming. Uh, I, I like my men like I like my dental floss right after a nice plate of barbecue ribs. I like my men like I like my floss. He's sitting there looking at me and I know I should use him, but I'm just not interested right now. (laughs) Shout out to Josh Kahn, everybody. Uh, I like my men like I like my dental floss. The dentist asks about him. Uh, I like my men like I like my dental floss. After I've used it, I throw it in the trash. Yeah! (laughs) I like my men like I like my dental floss. They leave a little minty taste in my mouth after all. Mm. <laughs> oh, I like your men too, Joe Penn. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's where we're going to end it. Thank you all so much. Allison, Jared, thank you so much. I've a freaking blast with you guys. Hey, if you're watching at home, I hope you had as much fun as we did. I have not cried from laughing in a very long time. Um, and tonight I accomplished that. Um, one last time our Venmo is at the IT Frau uh, we would love to see it and, uh, did anyone guess who is wearing pants Alex have you checked uh, switching over right now hold on unlikely um, scrolling 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 oh well, oh, oh alright there it is 23 minutes ago it was posed as a question but Victoria went is Jared the one wearing pants tonight? It's not Come Jared, though. On. Uh, not Jared. Just the you, last can guess, you even know one. me? Uh, it seems they've kind of... Uh, oh, everyone is pantsless but Alexis. No, well, I'm never wearing pants. <laughs> Sorry, Rusty. <laughs> wearing pants? Sorry, Rusty. Sorry, Rusty. You can no. still Venmo me, though. Venmo and guess, baby. It doesn't appear anybody in here so far has uh, guessed the person actually wearing pants. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. Oh, wait, someone in the comments. Sarah Victoria Place just said, it's Jeff, I think. And you would be correct. Jeff is the only person. Yeah. The only one that can yeah. stand up right now. Yeah. All right, good shot that I never And khakis, to see. too. Good. Really good. Business cash. All right. Yeah, sure. They're khakis. <laughs> <laughs> sure they're khaki all right thank skin. you everybody thank you for tuning in tune in next week for a new host new guest stars and a new chance to guess who is who is wearing pants Ooh. <laughs> this is me <laughs> yes the pants take us out of here i can't deal with them anymore good night everybody